Hey guys, welcome to another guide. This is top nine different moves. Um, it was actually 10 because it makes sense to have 10, but um, I took one out because that one was a little bit too cheap. Okay, so let's begin the list at number nine. It's a uh, corner shoot. So this is very fundamental. If you're in Champions League, uh, you probably have acquired this uh, move by now, um, especially with the lockdown weapons out there. And it's even more lethal when you do it um, when the opponent don't expect it. So these uh, clips will definitely show you how you can excel with the corner shooting ability. Now, um, I have locked down enemies with Corona, just uh, sticking out one of my Corona. So the benefit of corner shooting is definitely you're not getting hit, but they're getting hit. But one thing you do have to watch out for is splash damage weapons because you'll, you'll still get hit by them. Okay, moving on to the next, number eight, never ending missiles. So this is very specific and it applies to homing missiles. So I fast forwarded this part a little bit and I know that a lot of players do use homing missiles. So I did wanna have some variety in my list. So by shooting one at a time and not having um, cooldown for all three web chimera on this fury, um, it actually allows glass cannon uh, robots to kind of stay um, against the wall so they won't be attacking and while they're while I'm doing this and while they're trying to avoid my missiles and trying to get their cooldown back um, my team has an opportunity to move in and get the beacon so as you just saw now um, I you can also trigger um, enemies uh, special skill when they really don't want to use him so that actually puts your brawlers brawler teammates in better place so as much as you want to shoot with the vortex all four of them at once however chances of hitting all of your rockets onto the target is very low against moving targets and there are a lot of fast robots out there just like the chimera in the previous clip i would use single weapons at a time fire singles and this is what a lot of skilled players running aphid vortex um chimera any type of uh, homing missiles do and next few clips will show that as an example On to the next, the airy stream. This is the infamous airy stream, guys. But it is out there, so I would like to mention this. And uh, how did I pull pull this off with uh, random two guys? Um, that I don't know. So it just means that um, a lot of people know about it. So I I definitely wanted to mention this. So how it works is you trade off shields between three Aries players. So if you pull this off right. Um, your shield shouldn't run out because you're trading off shields and um, during your cooldown time you actually have your friend's shield up so that's how it kind of works um, the counter to this obviously is hellburner definitely mercury and invader if you're able to pick off one guy so as i cl get closer to the beacon uh, it does get riskier because people can spawn into their mercury and uh, really pick pick off one of our guys but it is very dominant and we were able to cap this beacon in the center but sometimes some people won't feel it um, you can kind of do it with two guys but uh, sometimes people just don't feel it <laughs> so let's move on moving on to number six splash through the wall so have you ever wondered where the damage is coming from so this is it special skills like Helldive on a Mercury, Overload on Hellburner, even the Invader's Suppression goes through the wall. So there is a radius to the splash. So definitely a lot of people are already using it. A lot of skilled players are using this. So it's definitely good to know about this. And a lot of people do get confused because they don't know where the damage is coming from. And they're in cover, right? So definitely know about this. 
So moving on, number five, Super Dash. You've seen it. Uh, you you might have freaked out when you first saw it. If you're able to dash at the right time at a certain ledge, um, that your dash actually get dragged out and you kind of glide over more than you should. So I don't know if it's a bug, but it, it is a definitely a skill set that a lot of Champion League players, uh, even in clan battles, uh, people kind of expect you to do. So there's definitely a good place to do it, especially uh, when you're going to the center beacon in Springfield. Um, that spot is definitely um, useful. And you can definitely test this out in the custom match. And you just go through there and you kind of practice, you fit it around with your dash bot. And that's definitely how I taught myself how to do this. And sometimes you miss the timing, but um, it does take some practice and I will pause the screen right here and I drew a red mark and definitely it's good if you want to do this it's good to kind of benchmark that line to your robot or to your screen uh, where however you want to do it on to number four I call this move push off and definitely in certain maps there are features where you fall off you die and when I first received this skill onto me um, it was very depressing to just kind of slowly see my robot die. Kind of sad really, but when you do it, it's very exciting. And you can do it for the purpose of getting beacons too. Moving up the list on number 3, Lockdown Viper Aljun. This combination is very deadly because the combination of Viper and Lockdown module is so efficient that it pretty much 100% locks enemies down. Um, I think it's even better than the Lockdown Shotguns or pulls are. Uh, with the mobility of Aojun, you can get near center beacon or certain important beacon, lock down enemies fast robot and take them out. So that you see a lot in um, high level champion league gameplays. Definitely uh, set up and that combination of moves that you can use. And let's move on to the next one. On number two, use teammates shield. So this is kind of like the Ares train, but it's really not because not every shield is invincible and you have to use the most out of your allies shield when they're moving in. In this case, we have two Ancelot. Um, one Ancelot has the Ancel. So we're blocking out uh, plasma, energy weapons, and some splash. And in this case, the enemy robots are Ares or Pantheon bots. So the shield have been taking a lot and even though I'm not in a brawling robot, I'm able to kill robots, in this case, Ares. So the point is make the most use out of your teammate's shield. Last but not least, utilize eco shield. So you may be thinking, I would have to sacrifice a weapon for a shield, but I wouldn't say you're really missing out on 197K HP on MK1 maxed eco shield and that only cost 31 or 32 million silver and uh, in this case this clip will show you how I'm able to block rooting shotgun weapons and I'm able to move into the beacon I'm able to serve this robot's purpose of just getting this beacon now without that eco shield I would have been locked down I wouldn't have the beacon nor my bot and by the way, that shield was only level 3. So definitely learn how to use Eco Shield. That move is very crucial. You definitely have to learn how to move around sideways, not looking where you're going. So you definitely have to know the map a little bit more. But if you have the Eco Shield on robots like Mercury, you're not getting locked down. Or lose all of your health before all the action happens getting towards certain beacons becomes a lot easier and benefit of your HP not being chipped away little by little definitely helps out and the next clip will show you you can even chase down Ares with this build so definitely learning how to use the eco shield uh, learning how to walk sideways in this case has to be one of the top skill set out there
So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped. I hope uh, you can use some of them in future. And if you have any other tricks in your pocket, feel free to share down in the comments below.